Good morning. This is Wednesday, March 24th, and this is Bridges and Beacons, our devotional series in which we're reminded of what it means to be a bridge for Christ and a beacon of His love. It's hard for me to even count how many times I've offered you that introduction uh, during the past year as we reach this milestone of this devotional series. Uh, on, on Monday, you heard Mark and Roberta talk about their reflections on this, and they deserve our deep thanks for the efforts behind the scenes in pulling this together week after week and multiple times each week, too. Uh, it's been a meaningful way for me to stay connected with you. Uh, it's been meaningful for me to hear back the things that have touched you as you've listened to all the different words and the music and the prayers that have been offered over this time together. For me, it's one of these reminders that even though we have not been able to be physically together, that we can continue to grow uh, in experiencing God's love and our response to it. And so what you're about to see is a video of nearly 40 individuals who have shared their gifts with you over the course of this past year. And I hope for you as you watch it, it's a reminder yet again of all that has unfolded in these 12 months together uh, and the continuing and clear understanding through each day of God's unbreakable love. Enjoy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is an offering for our devotional series called Bridges and Beacons. Welcome to Bridges and Beacons. Welcome to another installment of DPC's Bridges and Beacons. Our theme this week is rest and renewal. The gift of receiving and using the Holy Bible. The start of school during COVID. The scripture reading for today is Esther 4, verse 14. Micah 6 through 8. Over the past year, Bridges and Beacons has been one of the more consistent and meaningful things in my life. I know that. Um, you know, having had the opportunity to, to host uh, was one of the more special things I was able to do over the past 12 months. And it's something that every day that it comes out, I look forward to it. I get the email or I look on Instagram and I have the opportunity to, while I'm doing dishes or while I'm making my kids lunches, take the opportunity to, to connect with God and to really be able to focus on that part of my life. What I love most about Bridges and Beacons is that when I'm kind of mindlessly scrolling through my social media, I get the opportunity to be very specially transported back here in heart and mind and to be reminded about things that really matter. And I love being connected to the church through that and getting updates about Hunting Park Academy or other things and initiatives that we're doing. So I just love how it brings me back to our home. Uh, Bridges and Beacons has um, really taken us to another level. Uh, you know, our, our, our faith really uh, has remained strong since we have this such personal connection. We want to get back to church, but in the meantime, uh, this has really filled a void and has helped us stay strong and uh, believing. When I get the chance to watch Bridges and Beacons, I really, I love to hear from the pastors, but I also love to hear from, um, you know, my, my fellow church members who I, I haven't seen in a long time. And um, really to, to get that glimpse of them as a real person and not just someone you see on Sunday and, and to find out how God is acting in their lives um, is really special. Sing to the Lord, praise His name, and give glory to your Father in heaven. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord's name be praised. I trust that this video has reminded you once more of the many different individuals who have shared their gifts with us over the past year reminder of how God has allowed us to continue to stay connected to one another and continue to grow. Uh, and so we give thanks for that gift, for all the ways that individuals have helped make this possible during the past year, even as we look forward to that day, hopefully soon, when we can be back together again. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.